needed to recognize that if they got out of line, the United States global leadership would put stability and peace. Would you support or oppose a preemptive strike by Israel on Iran? You have two minutes. Let's keep in mind where this started. October 7th, Hamas terrorists uh, massacred over 1,400 Israelis and took prisoners. Uh, Iran, or I, uh, Israel's ability to be able to defend itself is absolutely fundamental. Getting its uh, hostages back, fundamental, and ending the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. We will stay committed. And as the vice president said today is, we will protect our forces and our allied forces and there will be consequences. Donald Trump actually delivered stability in the world, and he did it by establishing effective deterrence. People were afraid of stepping out of line. Iran, which launched this attack, has received over $100 billion in unfrozen assets thanks to the Kamala Harris administration. What do they use that money for? They use it to buy weapons that they're now launching against our allies, and God forbid, potentially, launching against the United States as well. It is up to Israel what they think they need to do to keep their country safe, and we should support our allies, wherever they are when they're fighting the bad guys, I think that's the right approach to take with the Israel question.